number one actuator rotates the duct to allow the duct to articulate and, and do its, its stovel function, provide lift to the rear of the aircraft. We decided that we're going to have to come up with a tool that would actually allow us to remove and replace this actuator. And we're looking at being able to replace one of these actuators in half a shift, so say four hours, versus uh, having to remove the engine from the aircraft. We need aircraft up in the sky, flying, ready to go, especially for in a combat zone. We can't afford to have aircraft down for a simple component change. Take, for example, uh, one of the actuators on the 3BSN. If you're looking at changing out a Ford actuator on the 3BSN module, you're going to have to pull the motor as it stands right now. And that takes time just for one little component that's no more than a few bolts and screws and a quick leak check. We, you know, as a team, saw that this is a big deal. We need to be able to remove and replace this actuator with, with the engine installed. We visited the facility, the aircraft facility at JSF. We were able to see the engine, the subject actuator, uh, talked with the mechanics, talked with the engineers to see just exactly what their problem was, how we could help support the project. I went and saw what they needed. They explained what they needed in detail, and I had a pretty good understanding of a way to solve their problem. And I came up with a concept of a tool that could interface with their um, their part on the aircraft and a universal jack that they used in the hangar. If it's taking days to run through a process with JSF and we could come up with a method to save time and money, then we're all for that. We proved it already on BF1. The change out, from my understanding, uh, took approximately three hours to deinstall the actuator and to reinstall the new actuator. If, if they predict three actuator changes, it's going to save, you know, three engine pulls. Our overall mission is direct impact on the aircraft. What we want to do as Marines here, as well as a sailor and those Air Force to take part, is to impact this aircraft enough so that when it does reach fleet, when it does reach mission capability, there's less man hours involved with maintenance and more flying. The more we're in the air, the less we're worried about keeping the aircraft fixed. That means the skies are safer. That means when we're on deployment, our troops on the ground have the support in the backup that they need in the sky. And they're not waiting on us to fix a problem that's been a known problem. If we can directly impact that here at test, that's going to save a lot of time and more importantly, a lot of lives out in the field.